Hello and welcome to this video. We'll cover the topic about how to retrieve parent-child data using Remedy REST API filters. First, let's review the structure of the payload that we'll be mapping. Well, in uh, Notepad++, I put the JSON object that we'll retrieve using REST. And initially, it will have a values uh, property inside the main object in line number two. And this values object is the actual parent data. And we're going to map some of that. But after that values object representing parent data, we have a links object, which uh, we'll ignore for now. We're not going to use that. And the data that we're going to use is the is embedded object and the association that will see parent child one. This association will contain an array of different objects and each object will have values and inside the values object each of the fields that we're interested in. And that's going to repeat again with the next object and so on. So now let's take a look at how we're going to retrieve that uh, using a filter. I've linked that to double C to parent two form data and um, as long as the status is yes the filter will trigger. And this is a REST API filter, of course, and we're going to execute a get method to this base URI, and after that, uh, we're going to use the short description as part of the URL to retrieve a particular entry from the REST service. Okay, I'm going to um, avoid talking about authentication and Let's see how the mapping will work. Well, as we've seen, we have a values object, and therefore we're going to use values pipe and then short description. And with that, we'll map exactly line number 10 from this document. And the value from the JSON object is going to land in parent2 form and the short description field. But then, in order to map the child elements, we're going to map embedded association double C parent child one values and short description. And that's going to map to line number 34 uh, and line number 59, depending on which uh, child element we're iterating on. But we're going to map all of them. And the mapping will have will happen on double C test child two form. The parent form is going to be parent two. The field that this data is going to land on is short description. And please make sure that you have a primary key, which in this case is the request ID of the child form. The foreign key is just a migrated key from the parent form. The distinguishing key is important because uh, the REST filter should be able to distinguish with these three items an item from another one. Otherwise, they will be merged with a strange character, which is an array separator, and that's in the documentation. Uh, after that, we're going to leave the JSON type to string and the child array index on set. We're going to uh, map embedded association double C parent child one values child ID to another field in the child form. But basically that's the whole mapping we're going to be doing. Now let's take a look at how we're going to trigger that. Okay, so I'm in parent2 form and the source data is coming from parent1. So I know I have two uh, parent nodes one is uh, ID 213 and it has two children and 214 has three children. So I'm going to start with uh, copying this entry using the rest filter we've talked about and let's do that. Let's hit save and now this element has all the children from 214 matching that description. But if I do that again, but retrieving the values of 213, well, we're going to have a different. And 
take a look at the request IDs 152, 153, and 154. So 152 and 153 are preserved, 154 was deleted, and all the values were updated. As you can see, short description is 10, and child 10 and child 20. And just to show you the child ID, well, that's in the internal child form. So please follow this structure to map the parent values. And depending on the structure of your JSON array with the parent-child relationships, you may need to use these pipes. And of course, the primary foreign and distinguishing keys. So, well, that's all for now. Thanks for your time.